Welcome. My name is Paul Hayden and I'm an ambient composer. Cinematic ambient if you need a, a genre and I'm sure there is one. Well, I'm going to like to discuss actually the creation of music if I could. Um, what I'm going to do here today is a breakdown of a song that I composed only yesterday. Uh, so I'll just take you through it's all obviously been pre-recorded, otherwise we'd be here for hours and hours just doing it. Which in itself is probably quite an interesting project too, perhaps in, in the future I might even do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how I actually put this together. Because um, I think a lot of people think it's just some sort of mystery, well, you know, at a certain level it is. But really, mostly, it's actually just about perseverance and a lot of hard work and application. And I think most musicians, most creatives for that matter, would uh, agree with me on that one. So what we'll do is we'll start off with this particular piece of music. It starts off purely with an improvised piece. It just had no idea what I was going to do. I, I know the sound very well. I use spectrosonics um, on the spheres, primarily, uh, as do a lot of other creatives. I know that for a fact, because you can hear the sounds there. They're an amazing company. They really are. Spectrosonics are fantastic. So what we'll do is we'll just start all purely improvised. Very, very simple melody. It's written in the key of A, Mixolydian, which Musicians in you, they're out there, will realize that it's, the seventh is neutral or natural, sorry. So it gives you that haunting, almost Celtic feel. And so it goes on for about five or six minutes. Again, I stress, purely improvised. Just minimum playing. And then you tend to add things to that. So we'll go back now and we'll start putting a drone effect onto it. So what will we do is we'll have this one. And we'll start from the beginning. It's very quiet. You may struggle to actually hear it. But you can just hear it coming in now. It's set right back. It's really, by that I mean the actual bottom line shouldn't interfere with the melody. You can just hear it in the background. The melody is very, very much there. And the drone is just subliminal almost, which is quite good. But it needed a little bit more on the bass, so we added the same, the same piece of music, but with another drone effect as well. So you actually have two. The, these ones, incidentally, called Eternal Evolution and Eternal Swells. They're, they're, I use them a lot. They're a beautiful, oh, just a beautiful sound. I've also, as you can see, also it's all MIDI. It's not audio. Uh, I as a, I tend not to use audio as much as I possibly can only in the final mix down. I try to use MIDI information, MIDI form of editing, uh, because I, I find that it gives you a better sound quality <coughs> at the at the end when you when you're mastering down to the, the final result. So we'll go back and have a listen again. This time with both padded sounds and of course the melody. Actually, I'll turn the melody off so you can actually hear that. So it'll quietly come in. <clears throat> so it sets up this eerie, mystical, mystical sound, which is I love, by the way. And then you then just bring in the melody. Mm. 
Okay, that's quite good. We're starting to get somewhere. Keeping in mind, it took two or three hours or more to do this originally. Actually, a bit more now to think about it. So what we'll do is we'll start to bring in some extras. We're going to start enhancing the melody. And you use different sounds at different points along the way in the actual create, creation. You could have the same all the way through on your melody using different sounds, but then it, it, it just sounds the same all the way through. There's no subtleties, there's, no, there's not a huge amount of difference. The trick is to bring, <clears throat> to bring the, the various melody enhancements bring that in and this is what we'll do to start to I'll show you now with it. So that's the next section. You notice it's not starting here at the beginning. It only comes at a certain point. And this is what this one sounds by itself. It's more of an orchestral sound. Hear that? Very soft, but it's definitely you can hear the cellos working. The cellos and the violins are in there. It's very much an orchestral thing. And then you... That's what it sounds like together. With your two bottom drones going. The orchestral and the original melody. Quite nice, quite nice. So what we'll now do is we'll bring in a, another group for the uh, for the melody enhancement. And we'll do the same with this. Only this time we'll mute rather than just that. That will be better. So the next group is yet another interesting sound. Very different than the two previous, very different. One orchestral, one ethereal. This, it's somewhere in between. It's, it's neither, it's neither orchestral nor padded. It's just a different sound altogether. And so we then, so we're now listening to these two. And now we're, Going to listen to the original melody. So you can start. The, the song's now coming to you. You're not going to it trying to struggle. The song's now coming to you. It's embracing you. It's, it's almost like a physical embrace. The song's willingly coming to you, and you are very, very happily working within the structure of what it's showing you. It's showing you not the other way around. And of course, we've got our drones going. So, obviously the next one, we're going to do something similar. We've got another enhancement yet again on the, the original melody. It's down here somewhere. My eyes are deceiving me. How did I say? Oh, okay. Right, there it is. There. So, let's have a listen to that. I think that's it. I might be getting lost in the music getting lost in the sound. Let's have a listen to it, see how that goes now. Here we go. And then we'll go together. Then the orchestra. The Everything. 
which brings us up to an interesting point just here. Everything sort of stops except the bass line. Big crescendo and it stops. Bass is working. Now, that's interesting, I guess, but I feel that the bass line should not be going, be playing while that, that beautiful crescendo point has, has been, has been reached. So what you do, or what I've done, is I put, turned these into a white, a Y file so that I can just chop it back and let the music just calmly resume. So here we go. This is what we do. Well, first of all, we'll get rid of those. That and then we will increase these and there and there. So you can see the junction point just here is actually silent, and this is how it actually sounds just at that point. Go back a bit, and there's just pure silence here for a split second, and it very gently comes back in. That's music. But it's moments like that that I think is just totally makes creation creating sound just so much the better. You just have you you, you work unconsciously towards this these perfect moments. And they'll come to you. You work hard enough, trust me. I don't care what music it is, I don't care what you create, you have these little special moments and you remember them. So, what I'm going to do, now that that's pretty much completed, and I was quite happy with that, I'll just step out of the road and you can have a listen to the whole lot. Uh...
that, folks, is how you create an ambient song. Thank you for joining me. We'll catch up another time and I'll show you some more little secrets. Bye-bye.